Welcome to the grand final of Capgemini's Innovators Race 50. We're here at Viva Tech 2017 in Paris, a yearly event where industry pioneers and tech lovers come together to discuss business and innovation. Over 50,000 people are in attendance to meet some 5,000 startups presenting their projects. Among them are 10 Innovators Race finalists, as well as our panel of eight judges, comprised of Capgemini experts, leaders in the industry, and our partner, CNN International. Well, without further ado, let the games begin. Nearly 1,000 startups from 37 countries were narrowed down to these 10 finalists, two for each of the five competition categories. They're competing for the Serge Kampf Entrepreneurship and Innovation Awards. Over the course of the competition, all 10 companies have received valuable mentoring from Capgemini's business and technology experts across its applied innovation exchanges. The finalists were also invited to the Capgemini University, the Le Fontaine campus at Chantilly, near Paris, to meet Capgemini executives who put their pitches to the test. Today, each startup will present its pitch. Then it's up to our panel of judges, comprised of Capgemini and industry leaders, to decide which five startups will win a Serge Kampf Entrepreneurship and Innovation Award, plus $50,000 each in equity-free prize money and other benefits. Now, to the moment of truth. And joining me on stage, representing Capgemini, is the Head of Group Advertising and Branding, Emmanuel Lochon. Emmanuel, hello. Hello. Uh, tell us a little bit first about the thinking behind this program. We wanted to, after 50 years of Capgemini, we wanted to give back the opportunity to, to young startups, young innovators, to discover uh, business opportunities, to be coached by us. Thank you very much. With that, it's time to get down to business and discover our innovators. And we're starting with our first theme, that is GovTech and social enterprises. The first team taking to the stage this evening is Lily Smart. It's an app for caregivers so they can organize themselves, communicate efficiently, but it's also and mainly small sensors that we put at different places of the home where the frail people live. We are able to say to family, as soon as something is starting to get it wrong, we send the information straight to the family so that they can find a solution before it's too late. Let's perhaps get a first reaction from you, Paul. It's a clear connection between technology and a demographic trend, which are aging population. But I think there is a large need, a great future for these kind of remote care for people that are living in growing isolation. Thank you very much, Bart. Okay, well, the other team are competing for this theme is Buddy for Study. Buddy for Study is India's largest transactional marketplace connecting scholarship seekers with scholarship providers. Our vision is pretty simple. We want to ensure access to quality education to every meritorious deserving students across the globe. In the demand side, we're able to create a scholarship platform that uses AI and data science to find and match available scholarship for students. Thank you so much. I'm not an expert on India, but uh, from what I know, uh, the country is evolving very fast. The population is growing very fast as well. And I think education is going to be one of the major challenges to tackle in India. Uh, you, you have to make sure that the education system grows as fast as the population is growing. And I think the, the answer must come from, from digital applications and new ways to teach uh, students uh, a new thing. So yes, a great project. Thank you so much. So FinTech and mobility as our next theme. And our first hopefuls are Bud. But it's one platform and a new platform that sits across the financial ecosystem, deeply integrating into financial products. So what this means is you can seamlessly use any financial product directly on our platform. So now we are allowing the, the fintech ecosystem of over 16,000 products to exist directly in your banking app. So that's Bud. It's your private digital bank manager. Okay, thank you very much for that. Ryan, I think you wanted to say something? Yeah, uh, great presentation. I, I like the visuals, uh, great presentation style, very clear. Uh, you didn't get into a lot of buzzwords, which is always great. Uh, my question for you, 
is how are you going to acquire customers? So the banks have a big channel right now. How are you going to get your customers? Completely agree. So obviously, two-sided marketplace, right? So we actually deploy directly through the bank. So um, we integrate into the banking app. So we have, like say, three partners banks, which probably account for about 60 million customers between them. Um, so that's how, we get to, that's how we get to scale. So that will be launched later this year. So up against Bud for this theme of fintech and mobility is FinAI coming from Vancouver. Well, fin is a personal banking and financial management assistant powered by artificial intelligence. Our client ATB Financial is the first bank to be doing full featured transactional banking in Facebook Messenger. Their customers can find their account balance, see their recent transactions, they can pay bills, pay friends and transfer money between accounts as easily as saying Hey Ryan, 10 euros for the burrito at lunch. Samuel, the tech correspondent for CNN and CNN Money. What are your thoughts? You brought up what you can do with a human involved in there, because I think so often I'll try the chats, but there are certain things where you want to hear a human. So for me, that would stand out to hear uh, that there's actually a human being involved, because computers cannot solve everything, especially my banking issues. So really nice job. Maybe we can move to our third theme now. Consumers and well-being. And we're starting with kinematics. We saw the need for a new kind of toy. We thought, wouldn't it be great if it actually came to life? And that's what Tinkerbot does. This cube contains a battery, rechargeable, a tiny computer, as well as a Bluetooth interface. And with that, it powers a variety of motion and sensor modules. And all these modules can be connected freely and very easy. I think that it's important to instill the passion of technology among youngsters, um, especially in STEM and robotics. This is one of the ways to get people excited. As a kid, I had tons of Legos. And the ability to make things come to life, I think, is very, very positive. So thank you very much for your presentation. Let's not prolong the agony for the second consumers and well-being team now. The next venture is called Hippogriff. Did you know that heart disease is number one killer all around the world? Every year, it kills more than 17 million people. But the problem is not the disease itself. It's the late detection of the disease that kills most of the people, like my grandmother. She got a heart attack in my cousin's birthday and suddenly died. But she didn't have any signs or symptoms. That was the ignition to invent Complex Disease Detector, a decision support tool that uses artificial intelligence to detect heart disease before it gets late. Please join us to save millions of lives. Thank you. That's what I call a powerful pitch. Thank you very much for that. And our fourth theme is digital processes and transformation. And up first is Cupra's Health. In most developed countries, GPs are overwhelmed and hospitals have huge waiting lists. In emerging countries, most of the population lives in rural areas, while healthcare resources are located in cities and urban areas. So our business has developed the first solution that combines affordable connected medical devices such as this one and a secure healthcare communication platform. You know, this new technology with AI, machine learning, new devices for healthcare purposes or others is, is really a booming uh, sector. I think the border between professional usage and consumer usage is now blurring and you are in that trend, so uh, wish you the best. Well, let's meet their challenges, TensorFlight. We create an artificial intelligence can automatically find objects and areas of interest, like seen on the slides above. We can do this for the whole world. We have 1,000 users and paying customers. And our tree model is by far the most accurate in the world. One of our clients, the biggest forestry company in the United States, says it's 99% accurate. And we are improving sustainability as it can be used to monitor deforestation. I think that the thing that strikes me is that focus on, on spatial and aerial recognition is a, is a very, very growing field right now. And, well, you know, we're seeing one of the biggest drains on economies today is, is risk yeah. and not managing risk well. So I do think you have something here that can probably help out in a big, big way. We can move on now to our fifth and final theme, which is data and security. And we're starting with Ustiti. We've built a deep machine learning algorithm and a statistical model that is able to predict what the market will look like in the future. So now, Mark's team can know what their competitor next move will be and how the market will react. Or to be more concrete, let me ask the jury, 
can you tell me what percentage of black t-shirts will be on sale during the next sale summer in France in two weeks? 67%. <laughs> and more than half of them will be 30% off. Well, first, as a marketer, obviously, I'm very much sensitive to your pitch. The only question I have with you is when you develop that for Capgemini sector so that I know a bit more about our competition. Ruthie thank you very much. It's time for us to meet our last team. It's time for Fox Intelligence. If you can't get the data from the retailers, then maybe you can get, get it from the consumer. So in the course of the last six months, we convinced almost half a million people in France to share with us their email accounts. So from each and every ordered uh, confirmation email, each e-receipt, we create an anonymized data point. We don't have any personal data. We don't touch personal data. What we do is we take millions of anonymized data points and we recreate what Nielsen, what GFK has done, have done for uh, the last 40 years. Time to the second. Thank you very much for that. Paul, you started us out. Maybe you have last words so for us? I, I'm tempted to say congratulations to people that made spam useful. <laughs> I think I have to explain why we, Capgemini, have launched this race. We have created 11 applied innovation exchange, so center, to connect Capgemini with a network of startups all around the world. 11 centers from Singapore to Toronto and San Francisco, everywhere. And that's a gateway for startups that we can bring to our clients. So as you see, a deep, intense relationship between Capgemini and innovators, and that was the reason why we favor this. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much to all 10 teams. Our jury has now voted. All right, so in this first category of GovTech and social enterprises, the winner is Lily Smart. <laughs> In FinTech and Mobility, the winner is FinAI. Great, thank you very much. It's, uh, it's great to be here and, uh, yeah, and, and great to be a part of this. Congratulations, I thought you did an amazing job out there. So thank you very much. Our third theme was consumers and well-being and it's between Hippogriff and Kinematics. The winner is, ooh, Hippogriff. All right, moving to the fourth theme, digital processes and transformation. Which of TensorFlight or Cupris Health has won the day? And the winner is Cupris Health. Thank you very much, Capgemini, for the support and for the mentorship. And we are more than ever committed to make healthcare communication more efficient. Thank you. But this last theme of data and security is now up. So it's Fox Intelligence and Wistiti. OK, the winner is Fox Intelligence. We have a working session actually with WSTT next week, so uh, it's all going to be good. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, so we're leaving this edition of the Innovators Race celebrating Capgemini's 50th anniversary. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.